Hey everybody, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share this project with you. It is so much fun and it was so much fun to put together. It is all about the close encounter with the swamp. And I figured, you know what? This story is so much fun. It should go in my October daily. So that is what I'm doing. And it was just a hike that my husband and I went on and we literally got almost stuck in a swamp. And I figured, you know what? The theme is great and the pictures are hilarious and the story is hilarious. So I'm just going to go with that and have a lot of fun using all these bright greens and different variations of green and also doing a really fun circle design on the right hand side. So these are like two inch circles and then I have the main four by six photo. And I'm also going to take some green scallop circles that I punched and I'm using Ashley Horton's The Cut Shop Flowers, but I changed them to green. I'm starting off by building kind of my base and foundation and kind of the swampy feel with all my different stamps in different um, colors of green. I even went with that really bright Distress Oxide ink um, color. I think it's mowed grass or something like that, but it is very bright. Not exactly the color that I was going for, when I first bought it, but for this project, it works. I also grabbed a paper for the eyes. I thought that'd be hilarious and really fun to add to the story. Um, so I added that in and I'm just building a column of flowers and eyes and circles and it is so much fun and I'm really loving it. And I'll have a really big cluster over on the left hand side of the main photo with all the different flowers and the different circles. I'll even extend the cluster to go on the bottom of the 4x6 photo and eventually I'm going to make some hidden journaling because I kind of remembered, wait a second, where am I going to put the story? Because I have to get the story down. It's hilarious. I'm kind of saving it for when I get to the journaling because then I'll share more. I'm switching up the photos that way they are in order of events um, and I'll pop dot them in a little bit. I wanted to make sure to get my title down first and then I can assemble and adhere everything down. I decided to go with an Everyday Explorers font for the words Close Encounter and um, I thought that, that would work fun. It's kind of a fun, almost re reminds me of a kid type of font, but it works great and I even looked up where can you hyphen the word encounter? And I'm pretty sure I got it right. <laughs> I, I hope so. But if I didn't, that's okay. I took the exclamation point and I did a hyphen and then the T-E-R. Got out some everyday, ex or not everyday explorers, but Allie Edwards stamps for the words with an A and then swamp. So the swamp letters are from a, I want to say December daily kit, but I might be wrong. Um, December daily release. They're really, really big letters and I absolutely love them and I will have to do SWA and then MP and that will work just fine. First, I have to figure out which color green I want to use. I have three different choices. Wasn't sure if I should use the fern ink, but in the end, that was the one that I went with because once it dries, it looks the best and matches the best. So I went with that and it makes a great bold statement. So close encounter with a swamp and the column title really matches and pairs well with the column of embellishments and photos. I did stamp an arrow and I'm not going to use that. I'm, I thought I would point it towards the shoe in print and decided, nope, I'm not going to use it. It just blended in too much. This is where I am making the four by six um, journaling spot. Now, normally when I have like a flip up, I almost feel the need, like com the compulsive need to decorate the inside of the insert. But this time I did not. I just said, you know what? It's good as it is. I just want to make sure that I get the story down because that's the most important. I'm going to zoom in on these leaves so you can see because I was so proud of myself that I got these green leaves because like I said, Ashley's kit does not have green leaves. I keep saying leaves. I mean flowers. It doesn't have green flowers. Um, I picked some colors based on my photos and then I was able to extract the inside pattern 
and pull that out of the black flower, transfer it to my green flower, and then just change it to match. So I was super proud of myself using all those tech skills I guess but I love how the flowers came out and I love to crumple flowers when I'm doing um, hybrid scrapbooking where it's a printed flower and then I can crumple it up and give it a little more texture and dimension. Pulled out an Allie Edwards stamp for our adventures. I thought that'd be fun to add there and now I'm gonna start building my column of photos and embellishments and all the good stuff. So I have the top photo, which is a close-up of the water lettuce. At least that's what my phone said when I looked it up. And I decided to pop dot all of the photos. And um, I think I pop dot, no, I did not pop dot the flowers. Maybe one of them. But for the most part, it was just the photos. And then I have some cardstock that I included and also just um, two stars that say Hocus Pocus because I just wanted a little touch of stars that were black because most of my stars are going to be green acrylic pieces that I have. So I'm just working on um, crumpling my flowers and tucking them underneath the photos and I also have some black leaves that I kind of um, folded and that way it added a little more texture and lift off of the page and I'm getting towards the bottom and just crumpling and um, placing all the different pieces that I wanted and this is so much fun. I had the best, like I said, I had the best time making this. It's always sometimes the most unexpected stories that kind of find you and then you get to scrapbook them and it just makes you ridiculous ha ridiculously happy that's how it made me when I was putting this together um I'm just so excited and I will tell you more about the story in just a little bit so I bent that leaf you just saw and I'm adding it almost done with this column I pulled out another leaf that had like a little white outline so I went ahead and cut that and once I get this all done I can go ahead and flip open the four by six and then add in my journaling lines. I had only I think three butterflies left that I had cut and I decided I'm not going to cut anymore I'll just use the ones that I have. So I have one white on the left and one on the right and one black and that's all I had left. As you can see, I just tried the arrow and I did not like the arrow at all. So it's just going to sit there for a minute to see if I want to use it, but I'm going to wind up not using it. Drawing in my lines for my journaling. And if you've been around here a while, you know that when I draw my lines, I almost always have to draw a second set or a third set. Okay, so the story. My husband and I were hiking. We were on our Thursday hike because we hike every Thursday and we went to this former pond that is now a marsh and a swamp because California is in a drought and we were just exploring and looking at the tadpoles and the dragonflies and um, I was admiring the water lettuce and we go to leave and my husband steps over a squishy part and he thought that he had cleared it and we look down and he is missing a shoe. His shoe literally sunk in the swamp. And the only reason that we got it out is because when I picked up a small boulder, it clunked and hit another boulder that was already sunk. So it was kind of like made a tower and I was able to stand on top of that boulder and reach my hand in and grab the shoe. Because my husband had tried a stick, but a stick did not work. So I was able to kind of like balance precariously on the boulders and <laughs> kind of pull the shoe out it was it was hilarious because for a minute there we were thinking we'll just leave the shoe leave the shoe and let the swamp have it but we got it out and uh, his shoe was stinky for the rest of the hike until we could get home and clean it but it was definitely an awesome story to remember our hike and to document I found some really old color cast acrylic pieces that I am using some tacky glue on to get down. I found basically I used all the last all the last little pieces that I had and um so I just used those and I found a few asterisks and now I'm just going to put it in my album because it's done 
and I love it. I know I said it probably a few times, but I absolutely love how this came together. So much fun to play and figure out how I wanted to document this story. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing and hearing all about this hilarious story. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. All right. Have a great day. Bye.